Okay. And we're all gathering. We're welcome to teachers teaching teachers. We're gathering on the center stage just to say hello to each other briefly and get a, a quick orientation. Okay. And we need to sort of gather close so we can hear each other. Let me check the range out. Did anything change about that? No. Nah, okay. So if you're on the stage, you should be able to hear me. All right. And um, five of us have the ability to hit the broadcast. Um, the, what's tricky about that is that um, we, we can't hear you back. Um, and I need to go down and invite this person back up. Hi, come on up to the stage, <laughs> the middle stage. Okay. Answer the door. <laughs> yeah, got to answer the door. <laughs> All right, why, why don't we start with some introductions, just very briefly. Uh, where do you teach? What do you do? Um, and I have no idea how to how to do that. But Tom, you're going to start us. Okay. Uh, my name is Tom Fox. I work for the National Writing Project. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm the director of site development. And for the past 10 years, I've been working on the College Career and Community Writers Program. Uh, and one of the features of that is like these tech sets that we sort of really have thought about how to make and how to do and um, what their purpose is. So you introduce somebody else now. That's uh, it. Chris Sloan. You're not. Nice. Uh, is that just saying someone's name is what you need, Paul, right? Uh, yes, go ahead and introduce okay, yourself, Chris. Yeah. Um, yeah. I am Chris. And... Come on up to the stage where we're meeting. Chris. Oh, and, uh, Paul Hankins. Hi, I'm Paul. I teach in southern Indiana, right across the bridge from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm excited for tonight. Oh, that was short. Uh, That's no, fine. Uh, so I, uh, uh, Betsy. Betsy's underneath me. So Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Hi, hi, hi everyone. Um, I'm Betsy Woods. Um, I'm with the Ohio Writing Project um, at Miami University. Beth invited me tonight to um, check out. The Thank you. Thanks. So um, yeah. So um, I'll call on Beth then. Hi, everyone. I'm Beth Reimer. I'm the co-director of the Ohio Writing. Hi, welcome. We're up. We're up on the center stage, introducing each other. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about this stuff. And Anna, or Anna? Anna. Yeah. Anna. Yeah, my name's Anna Main. I teach English at Berkeley High School in Berkeley, California, and that's it. Uh, Sam Reed, have you gone yet? No, hey, hey, y'all, uh, read, a.k.a. Sam, and um, I teach kids to read, write, and make sense of the world, and I, I side hustle uh, the rest of the time, and i am uh, been having some real good, a real good time on um, Now Comment recently, um, and just inspired by uh, working with um, all these amazing folks in the room. Well, not all of you, but connected with all of you. Uh, <laughs> And Noah, hey, I, I see, I saw you came in, so I'll I'll, let, I'll turn it over to you. All right, sorry, I'm I'm late. I tried to join on my phone, but it does not work very well if you do not use a mobile app. <laughs> that is true. Good, good to point out. Yeah, yeah. Glad, glad you're here. Uh, yeah, glad to be here. Thanks for letting me join. Uh, briefly, who who you are, where you teach? Where you... Uh, I live in Vancouver. I. I'm not currently teaching because of work visa stuff, but no. I guess I work with the Ohio Writing Project. Very good. Great. Jump in. Who, who didn't introduce themselves yet? Beth, did you say anything yet? I did. I did. Harry didn't, oh. though. Okay, Harry. Hey. Um, I'm... Yep, you found us. Okay. I'm an English teacher. I am now in Delaware at the high school, so... And I've worked with Paul off and on with different projects. Cool. Uh, Hi, Marina. We're up on the center stage. Is that right? Hi. Yeah. Gotcha. 
I am a student in Paul Wilkins's AP Literature Composition class, and I am a senior. Hi, Michael. Come on and join us in the on the main stage. Senior, and I take AP Literature and Composition. Do you know how to do that? Oops, we can't hear you. Are you muted? I think you might be muted, or you might need to allow your microphone somehow. Oop. Now you. Now I can hear you. Or I can't hear you, but I can see your mic working. Maybe go out and come back in again is one way. Yep. Okay. Uh, before that, I was a high school English teacher. All right. Don't be shy. If you didn't say hello yet, say hello. Somebody. <laughs> I don't think Christina went yet. Oh, Christina. Mm -hmm. We've been just briefly saying who we are and why we're here. Um, or, my I mean, name is I'm, Jasmine. Go okay. up and not to your left. Um, Hi, Jasmine. Room 407. Um, I'm actually one of Paul Hankins' students. Uh, I take literature, AP Literature and Composition. Cool. I'm Christine Cantrell from the National Writing Project. I heard Paul's students were going to be here, so I thought I'd show up. And Michael, can is your mic working yet? There you go. Say hello. Uh, I don't think it is working yet. Okay, you'll have to figure that out. All right, let's jump in um, because people might join us as we go here. And um, if this is your first time in Kumo Space, um, just want to say you have a lot of um, flexibility to move around and. What you'll notice, um, just want to point out, if you hit on the range finder at the bottom, it'll give you a circle which will show you um, who you can hear and who can hear you, okay? Some of us have the ability to kind of broadcast to everybody, and every, every, very infrequently we will do that just to tell you what to do. I, I'm Paul Allison, and I co-teach a class over in the Bronx, and I work with the New York City Writing Project. And I'm really, really happy that Karen is here. She's coming up here. Karen, yeah, there you go. She found us. OK, uh, so that should all work. Um, worth noting that um, there is a map also. If, if you don't know that, you want to hit the map at the bottom. It shows you um, the whole room and where different people are in the room. So if you want to try to find somebody, you can do that. OK, um, you move around with the arrow keys, or you find an object, you hit the object, and you'll jump to that spot. Um, the plus minus lets you zoom a little bit, and there's a chat. You have the option of chatting just with the people nearby you or with the whole room. So you can do that. Um, we, this is our second week, right, of trying to figure out this space in, in somewhat of an organized fashion. So it's, it is fun. But it's more than just fun. It also kind of allows us to get sort of work done together. Um, and so what we're going to do is, um, well, let me share my screen. And we are going to mainly focus on Chris Sloan's work with, uh, it is also an AP writing class, right? Mm -hmm. JP English language and composition. I yeah. never get it right, so thank you. Okay. Huh. Everything just changed. No, sorry. <laughs> That's, wait, wait, wait. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that it's projecting in the lower right corner? Yeah, there's that. But then also, when I share, I can broadcast to everyone in the room, or I can broadcast maybe just to people around me. But we'll figure that out later. That's a change that happened today. So sorry to be excited about little things like that. But can you see the screen in the lower right-hand corner? And if I go like that, I'm broadcasting to everyone in the room. Okay. 
So there are four. Range. Yeah, can you see can you see the screen? Is it good? Um, let me try something here, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's better, right? Can see more. Oh, it looks like you can share a screen, but he What? No. Uh, I think he was I think he was just going to share his screen, but it looks as if his video is frozen to me. Yeah. Am I persona, here? And you're kind of big yeah. on my screen. Right, yeah. yeah. I was hoping to get Paul's attention by doing that. So yeah. you can't hear me? How'd you do that? How'd you do that, though? Broadcast. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Paul, you were out of our range. That was, that was, I was just that was just me being dumb. Okay, sorry. You can hear me, though, right? Yes. <laughs> I apologize. Here, I'll broadcast. But then I don't know if I can share screen. So anyway. The technology is changing right in front of us. But so I, I just, I was just trying to share my screen. I'm going to just do that again. I'm going to go there and I'm going to go application window and I'm going to share this. Can everybody see this now? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So there, um, I will put the link to this in the chat. There are, there are stations one, two, three, and four. Station four, um, Tom, Beth, and Rachel are going to be talking about um, C3WP. And you're sort of thinking about putting together tech sets. You guys should say a little more about that in just a second. Station one, you're going to be looking at student work, both a collection that she created. This is a senior from last year and a, a set of um, posts on Youth Voices that she created. Station two is Chris Sloan's um, assignments that he cr just created for students this year around the same kind of project. And then station three is sort of a breakdown of how study groups work on now comment um, and uh, collections can be put in those study groups. All right. Um, it seems clear that you could spend a lot of time at each of these stations. We will give you a heads up like in 10 minutes that if you want to move to another station, do. Um, please talk to each other. Figure out um, what you want to do. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Let me just say. So here is just to show you very quickly. This is the collection that Emily created. So you want to get a sense of how students create collections, what that looks like. Here's a set of posts that she created based on that reading on Youth Voices. Here is Chris Sloan's assignments. There are two sets of series of assignments. There's a lot there. Um, you can make comments and now comment or just look at it and talk to each other about it. Um, and then here is uh, just sort of a slide set I put together to kind of describe what a study group is on now comment. And then here is the text, the creating text sets for source-based okay. arguments that the um, C3WP team put together. Okay. So once again, um, if you want to see the student work first, to go up to station one. If you want to see the assignments first, go to station two. If you want to see what the study groups are all about, go to station three. And if you want to talk to the C3WP people first, go to station four. We'll give you some warnings. You'll, you can move around. Are there any questions about that? But uh, it looks like I'm at two tables. So how I think I'm going to do it is students collection can speak for themselves and so you know you can explore there and then I'll be I think at table two kind of talking about the assignment how's that sound that sounds good um, in the chat right now I am putting a document that has that image on it and it has links that will take you yeah. to the right mm -hmm. place okay let me know if that didn't work but um, I think it does Okay, so we're going to leave this up to you. Please introduce yourselves. Um, 
be as descriptive as possible. I'll roam around and make sure everyone's okay. Paul, I think there was a question about how to get the links again. But they're they're okay. in the I'll broadcast that see if that works. So you can get the links in the document that's on the screen up here, and I'm going to put them in the chat as well. There's no document on the screen. No, it's in the chat. There's a link to the chat. Okay, just to say the um, links to each of the stations is are in the chat as well. Okay, so you should be able to find that. Hey Sam, what, what do you want to work on first? Whoop, talking to somebody else. It's cool. That's where we're going to be working together, and there's some. Uh, stuff in there. So go ahead and click on that document. Spilled over into January 6th. So I just feel like my students especially were exposed to many problems. I have them go to a site. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Solutions. So Sam, do you want to go to one of the other groups it's or a, what do you want to do? Solutions oriented, mm -hmm. uh, or do you want to just stories? hang out where you are? And so I thought it was important for them to read those kinds of stories. So what we did was they searched on Solution View for stories that, um, so I mean, I'm just in study. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now we can hear you. Yeah. That, I'm sorry. Them, yeah, the so, study group, uh, I was looking for two. Okay. Three. Well, so let me, let me just talk to you about that. Come on over here. <laughs> I'm group three. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Wait one second. Let me try something. Screen share. They were going to do this. Um, share your screen. I pulled up the, uh, the link. Okay. I just want to see. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Sorry. Stop share. Let me not mess with that. Okay, you put up the link. Let's just go there then. Hi there. Hi, I went to the wrong table, and then it kicked me out. So I just okay. We're this. we're gonna we're gonna look at what these study groups are. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So, do you have the link to that? I will send this to everybody nearby, just in case. There's the link. Okay. Okay, does everybody have, I'm gonna shut this. Is it Jasmine? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So do you guys, um, can, can I just show you the slides briefly? And then do you see where they are? Is everyone on the now comment document with the images? Yes. Okay, great. 
So feel free to make comments there if you want. It's a public document, um, but uh, you don't have to. We can just talk about it. I'm trying to bring it up so I can see what I'm talking about. Uh, sorry. Trying to do too much here at once. Okay, so here's my notion. The first thing is you need to find an issue, right? A question. Um, What's wrong? People in group two, my arrow keys. Oh, fine. Okay, never mind. You good? Okay. Um, so, so that's what the first slide represents. It represents one way people come up with an issue, a question that they want to do research on, right? Um, and then uh, what Chris Sloan and I have been messing around with for a couple of years now is trying to figure out a way to have people have like buckets to put their questions into so that we want people we want people to have we want students to have their own passionate question that they're working on but we don't want them necessarily um, but we also want them connected so that's what's hard right um, and you'll see over here there are links you can go look at those links um, for each of these images but let me just show you so what we what we decided to do is use the 17 sustainable development goals from the united nations and say you know what that question feels like it's about sustainable cities or that question feels like you know you're interested in zoos so that in, that feels like life on land or you're interested in, in plastic in the oceans that feels like life in the water Right, so we help them and they and the students themselves kind of figure out where they should end up. And then once they're there, they join the group, right? And then they can upload documents that are part of their research into Now Comment themselves. And Chris has all sorts of assignments for that. You can look at that in a second. And then they add um, and then they add those documents to a a collection that they create themselves right so the example that we're going to follow tonight um, is responsible consumption and uh, sorry production and the example is this thing about fast fashion down here at the bottom that Emily created and so you can later look at um, her collection and what she created I think over a six week period she collected work into that collection. What, what we think is nice is that you could use those yourselves, right? Students could use them, go in there and just use that collection and or you could add to her collection. So it's an open public collection. Um, she then, when she posts about the work, she uses the same, she uses responsible consumption and production so each of the UN, um, each of the study groups has a category on Youth Voices. So you can find other students who are writing about this issue or have written about it in the past. There's also a link to um, Solutions U, which is a wonderful resource for finding um, solutions oriented issues around, again, those UN sustainability goals and then you can go to the sustainability goals page itself which if you could scroll down or if you want to go to the link you'll find there are lots of resources there as well so let me be quiet and just ask you to look at that go to some links if you'd like to and then say what you're seeing is going on here did that make some sense that's a lot to throw at you right <laughs> What sense are you making of it? Or what questions do you have? Yeah, I, I mean, I see it like it create some real quick fodder for like if students are working on wicked problems around a sustainable, sustainable development, wicked problems. And mm -hmm. this be like a go to uh, a process, right? They yeah. can be really, they can be student driven more than uh, teacher driven. Right. The one, the one push, yeah, the one, yeah. The, 
What's been really interesting is I think you could almost find any question a kid comes up with. You know, some of them fit better than others. <laughs> but it's been really interesting to think about, oh, you're really interested in graffiti, right? Or whatever. I'm just picking one thing out. Mm -hmm. um, and that's important in your city right now. But think about it with a global lens is, um, mm -hmm. is a nice move in some ways, I think. Because, yeah, what, what so do that's you think, our, uh, yeah, what? I'm curious to hear from, how do you say your name? It's Karis. Karis? Kar, Kar, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah what, are, what are you thinking? I don't think I have any questions just yet, but one comment I do have is that it just reminds me of like breakout rooms on like Google Meet or Zoom or like the desk islands that teachers can, will do like when they push like student desks together to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but what about what about the study groups? What are you thinking about that? Um, you don't have to have any thoughts. I, don't, yet. <laughs> I like them. Okay. Cool. What what cool stuff are you working on now currently? Tell us like what what awesome stuff are you doing? In English? Yeah. Yeah, or just in life in general. Um <laughs> well, were you part of the short stories? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Because um, Mr. Hankins started a short stories on now. So time. you're a senior. You're a senior, you're a senior. Yeah, that might have been his junior classes. Okay. Fair we so just that... started a new book. What did you? Our senior class. What book? Uh, their eyes are watching God. Oh, you, oh okay. Yeah. You're gonna. Are you gonna read that on now comment or not? Um, I read some of it on now comment. Mm -hmm. But I'm not too far into it yet. <laughs> okay. What what I love about it on Now Comment is is that like the language in that is really quite wonderful. Mm -hmm. Um but sometimes it's hard. But if you get to hear it and see it at the same time, it's it's really wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a wonderful thing. Um Yeah, cool. Any, and I find this Hey, what? hey, what's going on? And how's the whole like getting ready for college with this all the virtual world of virtual college, whatever <laughs> um, life choice? It's a little rough since I can't go on any like in person tours and um, like um, virtual tours. They don't tell you this is not just like a tour of the campus. It's just like a question and answer panel. And mm -hmm. yeah, then it's like answer your admission questions and stuff like that, like student life, about student yeah. life. What so places like are you? Rough, but what places are you interested in? Um, I'm looking at Indiana University in Bloomington, University mm -hmm. of Louisville, and my, I have a reach uh, of Bellarmine, not Bellarmine, uh, Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh huh. And they come out in, in April. Cool. Well, all the best with all of that. Thank you. Cool. So, so Jasmine, did you get a chance to look at those study group things? I don't want to put you on the spot, but can have, let me ask you. It was let kind me of ask, the same thing with Karis, though. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me ask you this: Have you ever uploaded anything to Now Comment yet, or have you just used it? We use now comment quite frequently um, with Mr. Hankins right. in class. So we have uploaded lots of different comments there. Um, but you haven't uploaded a document. You haven't chosen a document that you wanted to put up there yet. Do you hear what I'm saying? No, we ju we've just been like taking from it. Yeah, what yeah. We can Which is so great. great. You just finished Invisible Man, didn't you? Yes, we did. Yeah, cool. So, so are we doing rotations now? Yeah, I could I could make that announcement unless um, Anna, do you, do you want to say anything or you could stay here and yeah. No, I was I was just got didn't want to miss anything, so I was just wandering <laughs> around. Okay, say so, let me let me just uh, suggest that people could move around if they want to. Let's say it that way. Um, and I'll do it this way. Hi. Um, it is now, we've been about 10 minutes in. Um, if you want to, you can stay where you are, or you could move to another room. 
If you want to see the student work, you want to go move northwest. If you want to talk to Chris Sloan about his assignments, you want to move northeast. If you want to talk about the study groups and how that's set up on Now Comet, you want to move southeast. And if you want to talk about um, <laughs> the uh, building building uh, tech sets with uh, C3WP folks, that's in the southwest corner. You'll find it. And Paul, are we doing yeah. four rotations? You can do what you would like. <laughs> okay. There, you know, there, there's really not time to do it all. Okay. That's what I would say. Yeah. But you, you might be able to. <laughs> I'm going to try. Okay. Okay. Um, do let me. Um, are we a group? Say hello. We're a group. You guys know each other. Um, oh, that's Janet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me um, just do. You, let me share the uh, link again to okay. to this. I just threw it together. It's just a set of images. Um, and I'll put it in the chat, and I'm going to send it just to people nearby, um, which is you guys. Now it's only Janet. Uh, no, it's the others two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So well, it's I didn't mean to go up here. Have you been able to get your vaccine yet? <laughs> no, we just we just were told this week we're um, net that's March first. We're we were oh. also told we're going back. So. Told you were going back in some form yeah in some form we're going back so i want it you know i'm gonna we're playing vaccine roulette at this point trying to go to places and wait and see if they run out but they've just said that teachers are now they're saving 10 i don't know so 10%. no <laughs> yeah right. exactly yeah. i didn't mean to leave you there i i hit the key by accident sorry that does does ever did ever find the link? I have the link. Let me put it in. Which one, is, which, one okay, time. Paul. What's when it's was it problem solution assignment or the? No. Where am I? What? You're in. It's on our, now comment. I think. It's yeah. Everything is, but um, it's a link to a set of images okay. that. Got it, got it. Got it. I just wasn't got, far enough down on the. Okay. Thing. Okay. Why is that doing it? I know why it does it. Okay. Okay. Is it is it Betsy? I'm sorry. Welcome. Do you have the link too? Uh, yeah, I got. It. Okay, so I'm just going to try to keep this brief, but go through each of these slides, and they each have links out to. You can see the pages live. Okay, but just to say, the first slide represents the first image represents. Um, you know, 10 self 10 world questions or any way that you can have students come up with their own passionate, wicked problem that they're dealing with in that they want to do a research project on. Okay, so that's what that slide represents. You got to frame your own inquiry. But then Chris and I have been working over the last three years actually on creating what we want to call buckets for for youth to be able to put their keep their passionate question, their particular question, but then see if there's a way that it relates to other people's questions. And what we thought is the 17 um, United Nations Sustainability Development Goals were, you know, really covered a lot of things. It maybe doesn't cover everything, but what we asked students to do is find where their question is here, right? So I'm really interested in animals and in the zoo, and um, so we help them kind of realize that their their sustainability goal is life on land, right? Um, or the example that we're looking at tonight um, in in three of the groups at least um, is Emily's, and hers was fast fashion, and and how we can think about you know how we can think about sustainability on the globe and have fashion at the same time. And so 
um, responsible consumption and production felt like the group she could be in. So anyway, just to say some fit really well and some are, you know, more tangential. But it's been interesting to think about that play back and forth between a global look and your own question. Once you get into the group, you join the group. You're, once you're there, we and Chris has all the assignments for it, um, we ask students to upload their, the work that they're doing the research on into Now Comment themselves, and then create a collection, a public collection, for that work, right? So Emily's example here, her question way down there at the bottom was, how do we avoid unsustainable, unethical, fast fashion, right? That's her, that's her category, I mean, sorry, that's her collection. And then she, over, I think, a six-week period, added different documents there. And then what's nice about it is it exists, and your students could use it, and or they could um, add to it themselves. Let me, let me not continue to talk and ask, are there any questions about that so far? So she comes up with a question based around one of those, those, um, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. You know, it doesn't usually work that way. And in fact, personally, I don't want to work that way. I want, mm -hmm. I, I, we work with the students, you know, we have this whole process where they list 10 questions about themselves, 10 about the world. Like, what oh. are you, what are you passionately interested in? Oh, right. sweet. Okay. Yeah, I like that too. Okay. And then, and then it's not that hard to say, you know what? <laughs> You're interested in, in um, you know, uh, unequal education. So you're up in, in bucket four there, the quality education issue. Gotcha. Okay. And then, right? Okay. Yeah. Any other yeah. thoughts about that? So, and again, sometimes it feels forced. But it's been interesting to say, you know, I'm, I'm interested in the pollution here in Salt Lake City, the kids, right? So that's great. And that, you know, keep exploring that, find issues around that. But look at, um, look at number 11, um, sustainable cities and communities and how this is an issue that people are dealing with globally, right, is, is kind of the, the idea here. So in now comment, she has her own thread to upload all her research, basically. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's a uh, good that's way cool. to think about it. Um, well, she creates that. Thread. Yeah, now, she does. And then within the study group, there is also, and I'll finish talking here and see if there are more thoughts or questions. There are also three other places to go. So when you post on Youth Voices, you can choose any of the any of those sustainability goals as one of your categories, and or I can I can say you know what, that thing about um, nail being a nail technician, really is about you know, this this thing about consumption and production, so I'll I'll drop that in there so. We sort of organize youth voices according to these as well, and it's probably something that you didn't know about, but um, just to know. And that's what these blue things are about. And then a second thing you, that's in the study group is there's a link out to a search page using using the um, the sustainability goals again in Solutions U. And if you want to learn more about that, you can talk to Chris about it, but. It's a it's a wonderful resource for finding solutions oriented stories um, that sort of have been pre selected for the kids in some ways, and then um, there's also a link to the sustainability school page, which has more resources than you would want. But it's kind of an amazing resource to to use. So, yeah, uh, just to say. If you go to this, if you're on this now comment page over here, there are links to the live versions of all these images. But let me just stop and see what thoughts you have about this. Hey, Chris. I'd check out what's happening here. Okay. 
Um, should we move? I just asked people if they had any questions. And you, we can do that, Chris. And then let me, um, I can keep talking here if you want. And or there's nobody up by you right now. Oh, that's the tech set people over the other way? Yep. Okay. I'll check in with them. Okay. I can't. Hi. So I'm going to announce that people should move one more time. And then if you can, if you want to talk more about this, we can. Otherwise, it'll be there for you to look at and think about. But let me do that. Hi, just want to say that um, we should move one more time um, if you want to. You have the privilege to stay where you are, or if you want to move around and check other things out, you can. Um, and we'll stop again in 10 more minutes and then ask everybody to gather on the stage to talk about what you saw here. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Chris, Chris has a table like up above in the far right, right? He did. Uh, I'll, 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 I can, Karen, I, yeah. I, I'll come back. Do you have the link, though? To? To ta station three. In the chat, you could find it, I think. Yeah. Okay. The, and yeah. Harry, I'll, I'll show you the stuff up there, okay? Oh, Chris. Uh, Chris. Harry yep. wanted to talk to you about the assignments, I think. Okay. Where's Harry? Over. Oh, over here. Okay, gotcha. Hey, Harry. I'm headed over. Hey. Okay. Bye. All right, there we go. You guys I have good? a question. Oh, okay. Hi, Paul. Sure. Shall I give my... Whoops, we can't hear you. You're, you're muted, I think. Or, yeah. Here I was just looking for another. All right. Do you want to do you want to hear about the study groups? Okay. Is that okay. are you leading that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here for it. Karis, I'm still talking about the study groups. Feel free to stay, but <laughs> okay. Um, and this is uh, group th uh, station three, right? In the chat, you could find the link to it. Yeah. And, and or I'm going to send it to you right now as well. Okay. I'm, I'm actually going to head that. over to the um, creating a text set. That's fine. Go for it. All right, Paul, do you want to talk about this briefly? Uh, you're still muted. Leaving. <laughs> what? So I was looking at I was looking at the screen. I was looking at now Did, comment. I'm here. Are you leaving because it's scary or no? No, no. Okay. okay. I'm here. So here's there are different ways to to approach this, but let me just say just sort of this linear way, right? Um, what we wanted to, what we're wanted to do, and this is Chris's um, English, it's his AP class, right? The same one you teach. Mm -hmm. um, so what he was having students do was find seven documents in a research project, right? He's been doing this for a few years now. Um, and they come up with their own questions. So that's, that's what the first image represents. Some way to spark an inquiry about something, an issue that is important to you. Um, borrowing Sam Reed's language, um, it's a it's a wicked problem, right? That that you're dealing with. We we have felt really strongly that we want to keep that, right? But then we also want kids to connect with each other, find each other, and build resources for each other. So the the sort of I don't know turn that feels really important is that students are uploading work to now comment themselves, right? Um, not just what the teachers are uploading there. Um, but what we ask them to do is figure out where in the 17 sustainability goals 
their question fits. So if I'm, you know, interested in animals and hate zoos or whatever, I I might be in this life on land group, right? If I am curious about whether or not schools should restrict social media, I might be in the you know quality education group, right? So does that make some sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. In this case, the girl was, uh, Emily, if you've seen her work yet, I don't know, but um, she was interested in fashion and how it, it creates an unsustainable world, you know, getting new clothes every, whatever. Um, you can kind of imagine. And it was hard for us to kind of figure out what group, but in the end, it made sense to put her in responsible consumption and production. Which kind of, so she holds on to the focus of her inquiry, but also has this other global, bigger picture in mind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So students join the groups. They upload the as they do their research. They upload their their. It doesn't have to just be text, as you know, but they up, upload their their images, their videos, their their texts to now comment and then they create a collection right she created this collection down here um, that become is an open public collection that other students can add to this year or next year or right so that's kind of a resource then in that study group right and just very quickly and briefly um, when she posts about that her topic, um, and, and you, you'll find um, there is this blue button here that leads you back to the study group, but um, there is a category for each of the 17 sustainability goals in, in Youth Voices, so it makes that connection in some ways. Um, and then I frequently go in and say, you know what, this thing about nail technician <laughs> might be about this responsible consumption. Sometimes it's perfect and other times it's, you know, a little off, but we do our best. And then and another thing it links to is the Solutions U um, uh, resource. It's a search page, again, around that sustainability goal that um, she can use, student can use to find things to then upload to now comment and then there is also a link to the the goals page from the united nations as well which has lots of resources down toward the bottom of it that gets updated all the time too so that's the idea is that this these study groups would support your passionate inquiry in light of this global issue and with all these resources available to you so, questions, thoughts? The big takeaway for me tonight is that um, Solutions You, like I, I didn't know that that existed. Uh, yeah. that's, uh, that, I don't know if it's a game changer, but it certainly is a, a, a pretty compelling wrinkle. Um, yeah, it is. It's cool. I do like the idea of giving over a little bit more autonomy to the students to finding their own materials and bringing them to Now Comet. Mm -hmm. Instead of it being another delivery device of text from me to them to work with, you know, to have them start curating uh, a little bit of their own material, and and I and I can see where this becomes like a a better research project than going down to the library and trying to fumble through whatever we have or don't have. Uh, now that we're on a one to one initiative and they all have a Chromebook in their hands, I mean that really opens up uh, possibilities for seeing this in a completely different way. I may need to work with Chris a little bit if he's open to that, just how to navigate how we get into those groups and how we get sure. students to upload their articles. Uh, you know, before I go before I go and try to introduce that and have it all fumbled up in the room, um, I'd like to know how to walk through that. Yeah, absolutely. What I, I thought tonight and what I th is like nobody – would be tomorrow ready to do everything Chris is doing. <laughs> right, right. But you know, there might be a piece of it that you, you mess with right now and then yeah. see where it 
goes from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me go check out the what's going on over here. Oh, absolutely. Right. And then, absolutely. Okay. As a, um, I would use it as partner pieces, to be honest, you know, because your instructional base is so much higher than what they expect in that program and um, pull them in. I mean, there's there's new stuff that gets added all the time and um, go in and pull them and pull them out. And you can, I would do that and put them into the Because otherwise, of, oops, sorry. No, it's okay. I say part of my rub is like, you know, we're so busy, like creating our, our stuff. <laughs> like, when do I have time to do that? With people in now comment and youth voices, you know, yeah. it's, it's a motivator when they get some feedback too. Right. Well, I mean, I think there's at least, oh my gosh, in the summer session, I have like 25 kids. I'd like to see those 25 kids get onto youth voices. And then if I get those 25 kids coming on for youth voices just for my section, then I could show that to the other English teacher. And that's another 25 students that would come in. And mm -hmm. I just think that they would come in if they could see like, wow, this is totally different. It would break it up and they'd be interested. They're already interested in Kumo Space when we're going over just the basic things of SAT. And that's mm -hmm. really bland. That's one of the feelings of the, this project too, is not having done it. Um, um, put my personal one in there. All right, thanks, thanks, Jen. That's Sorry, guys. Just, Sorry, just, just, just to add on, um, that, that's been an issue that we struggled uh, with in C3WP a lot. And that um, one of the things we want to do is like the support of of difficult reading difficult text and when when people when the texts are given and leveled and everything sometimes the what they get rid of is the nuance that we're looking for yeah so uh i, I just I, i'll sympathize with your struggle rather than give you any help <laughs> let me ask this group um would it be okay if we came to the large uh came to the center stage and just shared one thing that you're going to take away from tonight. I'd be, should, does that sound okay? Somebody should Could volunteer we, to share. Let me, let me uh, make that announcement. To, I was just checking with the other groups. All right. So what okay. we'd love to do is for everybody to come to the center stage at this point and um, share one thing that you're going to take away from tonight. Do we go in the middle? Yes. Okay. As long as you're on this, uh, I think it's eight, eight sided stage. Uh, you will, you will be able to hear, I think. Great. Um, well, I just, a fun thing though, just to say, um, it's a, I've been, we've been, um, asking students like to show that they're listening by the person who's talking go up and and get around them <laughs> so it's kind of this <laughs> kind of this physical thing that uh you know show gives you something to do with your fingers anyway to, to show you're listening but if you want to do that you can so here's um we have you know six minutes left here i i just want to do popcorn um what's something you're going to take away from this evening's experience and please jump jump in. All well, right. I think Chris's introduction of Solution U, and it probably wasn't an introduction to everybody, but it certainly was to me. Um, I think that's a tendency of students sometimes when they do research is to try to solve a problem, but not have a clearinghouse like a, like like Mr. Sloan has introduced us to tonight. So I really like that. I'm going to want to go digging around in there, but I'm also afraid that I sense a wormhole. Um, so I may kind of put my toe in the water and see how cold it is first uh, before I go, you know, hip deep in that whole thing. But uh, uh, always take something away from this group every week, and I just really appreciate being a part of this community. So Cool. Somebody else, something you're taking away tonight? I appreciate going back to now comment because I play on there and look in there and, and like Paul, I feel like it's a wormhole, but I really got some great techniques from a variety of people using it in different ways. And I'm making that commitment for the spring to try and really pull something together. And 
great to see all the different ways you guys are curating and pulling some things together. So I appreciate that. I'm taking with me thinking about using this space as ways to have small group conversations or book clubs or independent reading or writing groups and conversations with each other. So I really appreciate playing around with this space and having this conversation. Cool. Yeah, I, I think the same thing where I'm just playing around with this space. A couple of days ago, I met with kids that have never been on here and uh, we have to break down their reports from their SAT and PSAT, see what they're strong in, what they're not strong in. And they've never been in here before. And we've done that three sessions and they come in willingly and they don't come to me, you know, when we have a Zoom because they're just Zoomed out. But they love this idea and they're moving around the room and then they come back and we actually have the discussion we wanted to have. And so you can just see like doing something different with them. Uh, they're real excited. They love it. Yeah, they like it a lot. So I think I'm starting to start to see how I can spread that out in other you know, uh, extensions of how I want them to do some things. And so they're not so zoomed out all the time. I forgot how much you learned by making a tech set. <laughs> Even if you think you know something about it, how fun it is. Thanks, Tom, for presenting. Thanks, Beth. Betsy, Betsy, we, you, you seem to be muted, Betsy. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Yes. Okay, I was really just going to add on that I'm going to use this space next week for uh, a group of readers that I'm getting together to do some um, of student readers getting together to um, try to um, make some recommendations for our summer reading. Um, so I think it'd be a fun space for them to use. I thought um, I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yes. Karen, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, she can hear you. Uh, I, I was just going to say, I, I thought Beth was doing a good job of like managing the table, you know, like welcoming people who just showed up and telling them what we we're doing and like that whole thing you do when you're sort of in a physical space with people. So, anyway. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Having um, students engage in so students in making um, tech sets it, um, while you yourself are also doing it. This what Chris, what you're doing is um, uh, pretty exciting. And then um, I wonder. Up how it would be if the if the um, the um, writing projects um, if your it's CP W three no what yeah. is it called it's close C three W P C three W P your six steps um, that would be those seem like a great um, a great protocol for them that um, students could use as well. And then, Chris, you say that you're that um, what you are asking the students to do, um, you yourself are doing. So, this creating of a text set, it um, amassing articles from which which to sift in order to create a synthesis essay. Yeah, I mean, it's an articles, podcasts. Project. Thing, you know, I mean, I picked it up from the writing project a long time ago. And I always tell my kids, you know, like, you can't have all the fun. Uh, and, and that helps me to go through the assignment too, and make sure, you know, it's, it's what I think it is. Can I just quickly add, though, that uh, the, the students are creating public, um, accessible collections, that teachers could drop things into or right so that division between a teacher created one and a student created one doesn't even have to exist but just to say yeah. i'm curious from like a student perspective like karis have you ever used this before or like i'm curious to hear like what a student thinks about this 
answer for now, Comet. Um, have you used like your most base and now comment, like in relation <laughs> yeah. to each other? Oh, you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we use them in um, Paul Higgins's uh, AP um, lit, and I think he uses it for laying as well. And cool. we'll use okay. them in place of like breakout rooms on like Zoom or Google Meet, and we'll go into like our own like sections and like kind of like group work and like work with our uh, classmates from like an essay or something or to study a book we're reading at the time. Thanks. Very clear. All right, who wants last word? <laughs> <laughs> last word. All right, I just want to say that um, I've been watching. I've been watching Sam and um, Paul. Paul. Paul was talking. Oh, I didn't hear him. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We found it was a little bit problematic to have a bar in the. Uh, in a student space. And it just seems so goofy to me that that seemed like something like if you wanted to reach out to educators and to students that you would, you could just take that little tab off there. I, I get the catalyst for why that's there, but why is it still there? And then we kind of got some uh, some blowback from the Cuomo space people. Well, there are other rooms you can choose. And it's like, well, but not really. Uh, you know, I have some students that are, some groups that are over 25, so we need extra spaces. So we need two or three rooms sometimes. Uh, but so you, could, we, you could set up a classroom for each of those spaces, though. We probably could. We could just yeah. have three at the same room yeah. uh, and do that. But it just kind of felt like, could we just take that little tab off there? Or do you know? So then it became an issue. We weren't ready to dump all that data on them yet, but we had all kinds of anecdotal data from the students in the first, you know, from the very first time they logged in. And capturing that in a couple of slides was really cool. Like what, what did, you know, students were like zipping all over this space. I mean, you really physically had to stop them from doing that. You had to go, okay, you could, we could do that in our physical classroom. If the answer is no, right? Or would you come in with a name that wasn't yours? That was an issue that we had last week. Or if we can't identify you in the room, then you don't need to be in the physical room. Like if we don't know who you are here, we don't see your face and you have a fictitious name, then you need to go get, go get that cleaned up and come back. And those are quick conversations in Cuomo space you can have just like you do in a classroom. You can have them out of range, off to the side, and then bring the, the student back to the group if you need to. Let's go over to the fireplace and have a little chat about decorum, and then we can go back to the group. Right? I, okay, so I wondered about that, Paul. Yeah. What if we don't follow you? Uh, well, I, I'm mobile. I'm mobile, too. <laughs> okay, so you change. I, but here's so exciting to me about this whole thing, and I haven't done this yet because I'm not the lead in the classroom and right now they're not quite ready for this i'm so excited that your kids are moving around right i mean there's there's this new excitement about being online in a different place for all of us right. and i think the excitement for them even if you're chasing them around the room makes my heart happy because right. in, in, in zoom all i see right now are black screens like i had two days of subbing and it was absolute hell and I have no idea what they're seeing and thinking. And I'm really going to push right. my partner teacher to come in because they're just burnt. And we're at least another month or so, five, six weeks out before we even bring in partial kids. So right. this is exciting to me. So I like hearing that because that will be what they say. You know, well, and there's no, there's no place in Zoom or Google Meet where a student like Madison last week can go sit over by the fireplace by herself. Right. And, and and work in that independent mode. And, you know, I, I can't get to her by moving across a grid or a tile, uh, but I, I can move across the room. Now, the only difficulty that we are having, though, is that the students are not always watching the map. So every once in a while, they do need to do that because just like in a, well, unlike a physical classroom, if I'm walking up on somebody, I'm not built for stealth, okay? I'm 6'3", 280. So yeah, you, I see me, you see me coming. But when I'm coming in a digital space, my range is like coming over a conversation and you may be having or not having. So that's a, that's something we're working on. Yeah, that, that might be good feedback for Kuma Space. There's some sort of like bell that rings, just like the chat thing that rings. Maybe when you walk by, it rings before you talk. You know, I don't know, something. Yeah. 
but yes, I've I I spend a lot of time apologizing to kids for sneaking up on them. Like that's the first thing I say. Like I know I just snuck up on you, but are you okay? What's you know, everything going okay? So, yeah, that would be yeah. fun to me. <laughs> you guys huh? are nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I've been digital too long. <laughs> I, um, I don't know if Sam's ready to do this yet, but he's doing amazing stuff at Malcom. He's teaching me how to use it. Um, Got to say, um, I didn't say that to him yet, except here in the in the whole group. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, you might be ready to do that next week, Sam. We'll, we'll talk. Yeah, let's talk. Sure. Okay, good. But yeah, a lot of meta stuff going on here, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty cool. All right. Thank you all. Um, remember, don't sit on the exit. <laughs> Just go down toward the exit and then hit exit. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye this is the part that cracks me up more than anything. I it's know. all leaving. It's over now. There I go. Uh. <laughs> I like want you. Trying to get out. Like, <laughs> I can't get out. Right, stay right there and then hit exit. Yeah, you see the little red? You can still see it. So, Betsy, you want to move up a little bit and then hit the red button. Oh, I get it. There you go. Okay, bye, Paul. Bye, bye. See you. Thanks for coming by. Sam, I didn't mean to call you out there. You, we'll, we'll talk. It's good. No, no, we'll talk. Sure. Okay. Uh, cool. Where's the exit? Oh, you move up a little bit and then hit the red button. Bye. <laughs>